Hello folks, Mike here. I uh, am giving you this quick little update video because I had a couple of fears that I wanted to set aside about uh, game state management. What do I mean by game state management? Well, think about uh, your quest log, your inventory, your character's experience points and levels, all of the stuff that has to carry around the game in between levels. Uh, in past versions of Unreal, there was very limited functionality built in for being able to do this uh, up until, I think, Unreal 4.5 might have been the version that they introduced this, maybe 4.6, something like that. But uh, at some point, Epic added this class called Game Instance, which is designed for exactly that purpose. It is an object that will, you know, basically invisibly stay around uh, in the background and keep whatever variables you put in there whether you've loaded levels or not. And so if you have all of this global data that your game needs to be able to keep track of, that's where it'll live. It's very similar to how I use uh, game managers in Unity, but those need to be attached to something in the world via a uh, don't destroy on load type of object. This is something that is just universal to your game. And so you can see I've got my blueprint for it and I've added this sub-object to it called Inventory Manager. You can't add components to this because it's only a U object and it's not a, an actor. So what I was worried about was, uh, you know, if you had a sub-object attached to this, if you had just a U object derived class underneath your game instance referenced as a variable, would it actually keep its data between levels or would this actually live in a space where it would get garbage collected or destroyed? Uh, so what you do here is you create this variable for your you know, other manager classes. Let's say you want something specifically for the inventory you know, where your items can live, or something for tracking stats for the player characters where that can live, you know, big, big organizational help, you make it a variable and, you know, set the variable type appropriately, and then on init, you construct it and then, you know, set it in this space as the uh, reference. And then you've got this nice handy global reference here, but the question is, does it keep its data? Now I'm calling this an inventory manager, but it's not actually an inventory manager. It keeps around a test value for right now, and that's all this is, is just the test integer. I have a function that will set it equal to whatever the game instance bloody phone. The game instance has a function that then goes through to that, setting it directly to 82. Just picked a number off the top of my head. Oh, that's irritating. And then I have my third person character here with a couple of shoulder button events set up. So the right shoulder button will set the test value to 82 after getting a hold of my special game instance class. And then the left shoulder will print the test value. And so I should be able to verify after I load a new level that that number didn't change, that it is still 82 after I finish loading the next level. And then in the third person example map, I have uh, this really quick thing the thumbstick button on the right will wait five seconds and then load a map from the starter content. And that's what I'm going to use to pass between levels here. So let's go ahead and play. Now I will hit the left clicker. And it is zero. If I hit the right clicker and then hit the left clicker, it is 82. So far so good. Now I can hit the right thumbstick and it will delay for five seconds. Load. 
now when I hit that left uh, button again, it should still say 82. Hallelujah. So there you have it. Objects underneath the game instance class, provided that they set the game instance as their outer, will keep their data in between levels. That is a huge win for organization and order in a in my game management because uh, boy you would not want to have inventory management character stats and class uh, or class sorry quest tracking and all of that sort of thing sitting around in one u object based class that would just be untenable anyway that basically concludes this quick little demonstration uh, as one last little detail in case you are wondering, under project settings you go to maps and modes, that is how you set which game instant cl instance class you're going to be using. And that will uh, actually... That, uh, that actually propagates throughout your entire game. You don't have more than one game instance class for your entire game. Uh, you have multiple game mode classes, you have multiple uh, player instance classes for doing replication, uh, but you don't necessarily have more than one game instance. Anyway, that concludes this uh, quickie. Take care.